another video on the golf R. Uh, as you can see, I'm already fucking messy because uh, I've started uh, stripping the brakes and stuff, uh, which is what today's video is about. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some uh, drilled and grooved discs. Very nice. That's for the front and the razor here. And then we have some Mintex pads. Uh, I've never heard of them. But if the shit, I just buy EBCs. But the discs look really good condition. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let you just walk you through. We'll do the front first and then we'll do the rear. I've got quite a lot of videos to do today. Uh, so I'm doing my brakes, uh, my gearbox and my Haldex uh, and a brake fluid change. So in this video, uh, you will see uh, front and rear discs and pads and then I'll do a brake fluid change as a separate short video. Uh, so let's crack on with it. So lads, the wheels are already off. Uh, basically, what I've done so far is just got a screwdriver flathead and go in there and just bar you caliper back a little bit just so it slides off nicely. Uh, and next thing we're going to do, there's a 13 bolt there. Uh, I think that's a 17 uh, nut. And all you're going to do is put the 17 over there, hold it with a spanner and then undo the 13 mil at the back, top and bottom. And then that'll allow us to get the caliper off. Uh, and then after that, we're going to undo what looks like 22s. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong when I get to them. Uh, to take the carrier off, which is here. And then we've got a Torx bit down here. Uh, we're going to smash it out of the fucking disc. Um, and then we'll replace them. That's, so calipers off. Uh, just want to get a screwdriver, pop your discs out. It's a 21 for the carrier. Uh, so we'll go and do that now. Uh, they're going to be fucking tight, like they'll be proper tight. So make sure you you're prepared to put in some graft to get these off, uh, and then we'll go ahead to get the disc off. Right, lads. So these twenty are fucking well tight. So you want to turn your steering so you can get a bigger bar in. Uh, it'll be much easier to get them off. I hope you have a power gun, lads, because it's much easier. Lovely. Right, lads, next step is a T30 um, bolt. And we're just going to fucking go it. It's out. And now it's uh, fucking hammer time. I might need a bigger one. I think I need a bigger hammer. What are you hitting there? Uh, the bits? Yeah! Do you want me to hit your face? Oh no. I need a bigger hammer. Yeah, I've been looking for like three Well, guys, it's off. But well, now I'm deaf. So, yeah. Look how lit they are, man. Unreal. Shite. <laughs> right, lads, so I've cleaned the hub up with the wire wheel on a drill. Uh, just for when I do this and pad next, it's not that hard to get it off. Uh, I've just sprayed it with some brake cleaner to just get rid of some of the shit. Uh, and I'm also going to put some copper grease on it uh, so yeah just so they don't get fucking corroded uh, and stick to the hub uh, when we next change them you don't want to absolutely cape it you just want a light coat around, I think I put a bit too much on, uh, but we're going to put it on the hub here as well. Just get it all nice and lubed up. Uh, it'd be so much easier to put the alloys and stuff back on as well. But you're just looking after the car. So there we go. We'll go ahead now and we'll put the dish back on with the uh, torque bit 
And uh, we can get the pads in and the caliper on. So the new disc is on, the T30 bit in. Uh, I've just cleaned this up a bit just to get most of the brake dust off it. Uh, I'd highly recommend putting a bit of copper grease on these um, because they do stay very tight. Uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, but I'm going to put some on this uh, and then we'll put the carrier back on and I'll show you how to push the piston back and uh, sort of clean up the caliper before you put it back on. Right lads, so with these pads, the, it matters which one you put front and rear. So the rear ones have got uh, sort of like the cal um, piston cut out. Uh, so you've got one without a brake pad sensor and you've got one with. The one with goes on the other side, so it goes on the off side front. Uh, so don't put it on the near side, put it on the off side front. And then the others uh, are just normal backing, so they don't have uh, this sort of cut out here. So make sure you put the ones with the cut out on the rear as in the inside uh, and put one with the brake pad sensor inside on the offside rear if you get what i mean uh, so what i'm going to do now just put a bit of uh, copper grease on these bits uh, slide them in to the carrier and then get the caliper on so after about 10 minutes of killing my hand i managed to push the caliper back where those tiny shit things you really need like a 20 inch pipe wrench or something so make sure you've got one before you do this or you can struggle like i did so I finally got it back, so uh, we'll go ahead and put the caliper on. And then we've got new bolts, 13 bolts. Uh, we'll get them in because the other ones are fucked. Uh, and then I'll get on with the other side. Why does it only do that? Right, that's uh, one side done. Uh, it wasn't that bad, to be fair. Uh, it was a bit of work getting the disc off and that. So I'll do the other side off camera now and then. Obviously, I'll do one of the rears on camera. The uh, thing I'll show you on camera is just uh, where to do the uh, brake pad sensor, but everything else is exactly the same as this side. So the caliper's off on the offside front now. And you see my fucking my pads, unless you've got nothing left of them. Uh, that's why the brake pad warning is on the dash, because that's fucking snapped. Uh, didn't they snap when they, um, when they get to that stage? Uh, so it does connect here. Let's have a look how it connects. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so it's going to be some sort of uh, lever. Uh, let me just get a flathead. Mm -mm -mm. So my bag of tools. We'll get a pick. Pick will do it. Pick does everything. Lever up or does it leave it down or does it fucking do a 360? What the fuck mine? Fucking eight bugs me boys, there we go. Got the pick down there. Push that because that's solid. So I just move that bit inside there. And it fucking shoot that because it come built into the pad. Right, that's all back to the stage again on this side. The only thing we've got additional uh, is that brake pad sensor, uh, which goes on the inside that pad. And you're literally just gonna flip it whichever way it went. I can't remember which way it went. No, you don't. Straight on, and that's it. Before you do the rear disc and pads, you will need a scan tool, fault code reader, or OBD 11 and you will need to put the part brake in service mode in order to push back the pistons within the caliper. Alright guys, so these are basically the same as um, like the brakes on the Evoke and whatever, it's the same sort of setup. Uh, so what I use, because you can't fit a ratchet behind there, I use a 10mm uh, on a 7mm um, Allen key bit. And we're just going to undo the bottom. Until it's loose, loose. No, there. And then we're going to find a flathead. All my tools are fucking everywhere. This is not good. Found it. So I can use this for pushing back brakes, can't you? I've fucking snapped it. Right, so we're going to pop this off. You basically straight in there and just, just can. 
Yep. Yeah. Let's get that out. And then we're going to get the screwdriver and just get in there and just push that back. And then we can push back the caliper. Somehow. That's a bit of an open setup, but I don't know how to do that. It's a bit shy. Maybe if we get in the top here. Thought I'll leave it outwards maybe. Or we can get drag it through the pad there. Anyway, you need to push them back. One second. Alright guys, so we've pushed it back and we're gonna see if this trick works on these like it does on the Range Rovers. Uh, I don't think it does give me one second. Right lad, it does work. So you can leave you can just undo the bottom one. It slides the top one out. But we're getting stuck on that which is a bit shit. It's a bit of a poor sort of design. So finally off. Uh, didn't undo the top one. Uh, just did it with two hands and it worked. And then you can take the fucking pads out. And then you need I think it's 15 mil around the back. Right lads, so I was having some issues because uh to get the carrier off it's a M14 spine bit. Uh now I use my mechanical knowledge because I'm a fucking god. And you don't need to take a fucking carrier off because you've got no fucking studs coming out. So it literally just slides. There you go, Toby. Can you, can you fucking hold that, lad? What's this? No. No. Now would you fucking look at that, mate? I'm just, I'm just a genius. So I've got my new pads in now, all copper grease nicely. And then I'm just going to fill all that now, slide that. Uh, caliper back on there and uh, get the caliper back and tightened. Right, lads, last thing to do don't forget your spring. The uh, best way to do your spring uh, is to put one in first, so let's say the bottom, and then you're just gonna push the top in and just make sure they're over the carrier. That's it.